What's up everybody who's ready for March Madness? Obviously, we're gonna have a bunch of upsets in the coming weeks, and today I got some plays that I really like for the first round of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, beginning with UNC Greensboro facing off against FSU. UNC Greensboro is a 13th seed, FSU is a 4th seed, Florida State is favored by 10.5 points, UNC Greensboro money line here is at plus 480, which is extremely tempting, especially when we look at the Knowles and see how they've been playing as of late, right? They lost to Notre Dame by 10 points, they lost to Georgia Tech in the ACC tournament final, they've not been playing well. Okay, they committed 25 turnovers in that ball game. And UNC Greensboro, man, they have a star, and his name's Isaiah Miller. 19 points per game, 7 rebounds per game this year, 25.4 points per game in his last five ball games, and he balled down the Southern Conference Championship game. So I like UNC Greensboro to cover the spread at minus 105 money. We shall see what happens. Okay, Colgate against Arkansas. Colgate is a 14th seed against Arkansas, third seed. Now, uh, the Razorbacks are favored by 8.5 points. This according to BetUS. The over-under here is 160.5 points. Now, I know that both these teams score the ball, man. I mean, Colgate's over 86 points per game. The, the Razorbacks are over 82 points per game. But Colgate plays their games against the Patriot League, okay? Uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks are in the SEC. And I like the Razorbacks' defense. So I think the, Razorback, the Razorbacks come to play. I think they're going to play well defensively. And I think we're going to have less than 160.5 points in this ball game. Now, Colgate's won 13 straight. Arkansas's won 9 out of 10. The line is Arkansas minus the 8.5. I'm going to take Colgate plus the 8.5. I think they keep it close. Okay, but um, but I think Arkansas wins the ball game. Okay, Georgia Tech ninth seed against Loyola Chicago, the eighth seed. Sister Jean's got to be there. Okay, so you can't bet against Loyola Chicago. Have a little respect, will ya? So uh, Loyola Chicago is a five and a half point favorite, and when you take in consideration that Moses Wright, the ACC Player of the Year, is not going to play, he is out for Georgia Tech. Man, I'm taking Loyola Chicago to cover the spread, man. They only give up 55.5 points per game. It is the best defense in college basketball. I know they only have one player who averages in double figures, and that's Cameron Crutwig, who averages 15 points per game. And Georgia Tech, man, they've won eight straight. But Loyola Chicago has won nine, nine out of ten ball games. Right. And um, like I said, man, without Moses Wright, things could get complicated there for Georgia Tech. So I'm taking Loyola Chicago, the eighth seed, to cover the spread. We shall see what happens. Okay, Winthrop. Winthrop and Villanova. Winthrop number 12 against Villanova number number five. Now, Villanova, we know what they've done in the tournament here in the last few years, right? But they're not the same team this year, 16 and 6, and Colin Gillespie's not going to play. They lost in the quarterfinals of the Big East tournament to Georgetown. Georgetown's a team you need to keep an eye on here in the first round, too. They play in Colorado. It's a 12 versus 5 matchup. Could be an interesting one, too. But um, without Colin Gillespie, man, when you look at the Eagles, they're 23 and 1. And this kid, Chandler Vaudrin, he's a triple double machine, right? He's a triple double machine leading the nation in triple double. So I think the Eagles pull off the upset. Money line is at plus 225. That is my bet. We shall see what happens. And finally, Ohio, the Ohio Bobcats against Virginia. Now, this is a seven and a half point line, and Virginia's got a really, really good defense, but the Bobcats put up 81 points per game, and Virginia's defense, it's not the same defense we've seen in year, years past, to be quite honest, okay? Jason Preston of Ohio, 17 points per game, seven rebounds, seven assists, playing really, really well, and Virginia's had some, some like, off-the-court issues, right, with, with COVID. They had a drop out of the ACC tournament, so I think th that this is going to be a good game. I do think Virginia gets by Ohio, but seven and a half points is just a little bit too much for me, okay? So I'm taking Ohio plus seven and a half points at minus 110. We shall see what happens. It's the first round of the NCAA tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's March Madness for everything regarding the world of betting. You can go to oddshark.com. Talk soon. Bye-bye.